Hello. Right. Um. So, in this video, we're gonna make this uh, white snake helmet, face mask, some sort of thing, whatever you want to call it. So I'm just gonna grab that, move it over to the left there. So we start with shift add a circle. We'll leave it at 32 vertices to make. That's what made this. Um, if we actually look at the base image, uh, there is one, two, three, four. It's hard to count actually. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So realistically, we only need to have eighteen vertices, I think, to make it. So when we go into edit mode, we'd have one, two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Is that right? Uh anyway, the principle is you you'd be able to change the, the circle yourself to, to what you want. If you want more spikes going up, less spikes going up. Or whichever. Right, so um, things we're going to cover in today's video is this uh, proportional editing. Um, so we'll just turn all this off because I had it set up for this already. Right, so once we've made the uh, the circle shape with the amount of pieces that we want, uh, I'd say it's pretty important to make sure it's even so that the there isn't a line going across. Well, I suppose you could actually have one less and it'd be a straight line here and here rather than a, a pointy corner. Uh, it'd be like this everywhere I think or oh, something anyway um, so we're going to front view with one uh, I'm going to move this into the X actually so we've got the circle uh, tab in uh, no point me saying tab is it uh, screen capture where are we screencast keys there we go so you can see what I'm doing here so we would tab into edit mode press A E uh, and it'll extrude in any direction so we hit Z to make it go down um, so this will be the top of the headband then uh, we'll just go back into front view so we can see better uh, and then E Z down for the eye section and then E Z again for the lower band Then on the top here, uh, currently we're in um, edge select. Uh, the way you change that is one for vertices, uh, which is, where is it, this one here. Two for edges, which would be this one. Three for faces. Uh, let's go into a better view to see. see faces, edges, vertices. Uh, so we want to hit two, go into edge mode. And let's just make sure that's extruded in the Z properly. Yeah, it looks fine. It's just dodgy angle. Right. So now we've done that, we press Alt and click on one of the edges on the top loop here. And it'll select the full loop. And hit th uh, F3. Type in checker. Hit checker deselect. And it will uh, checker deselect each one. And then in the bottom left hand corner here, we've got the checker deselect selection box. Uh, if I want to click to have say every other at the minute it's every other f edge if I want every other other red edge or every second edge I would deselect so now I, I am uh, because it's un uneven geometry uh, it'll be one one two three then one one two one one two one one and then there'll be a one here um, so it's it's uneven um, what we do is offset it by whatever it takes to make it so that it is two 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 two. Um put that back to one. Uh, and then if I want to say instead of deselect every other and I want to select two, I would hit two. Now I have every two selected. Uh, and then again, because it's an uneven number, I would have to fiddle around with this until uh, that point there. Which then would make sure that it's um selecting every as you see 
the, every two. Uh, so I press the Z, uh, Alt, click on that again, so F3, because I've already done it, it comes up anyway. Check a deselect, and um, we'll just have it as 111. E, in the Z, and um, basically you have to press the Z because it's not a face. If it was a face, it would come out uh, on the normal of the face. So we will take it up, go into front view, and we'll grab Z, say, about there. So that's now what we have. Go to front view. I will take hit three for the faces. This one and this one, this one and this one with shift shift click to just select those faces for the eye. Uh, click X and then delete the faces. So now we have the eyes. And then we would hit one uh, and then nine to go to the back. And I want this face here, press control and then click this face here, it'll run a full loop around. So we've got all of those ones now. So we've got the, the last one just before the um, center not selected. Hit X, delete the faces. And now we have a base shape. Uh, and then the easiest way to round it all off is click uh, Spanner, Add Modifier, Ba, 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 ba. Where's it gone? Subdivision surface. You see it, it rounds it over a little bit. Bump up the levels until we get a nice rounded shape. Um, these might not be sharp enough for you. Uh, I mean, uh, to me it looks fine. So we could always um, go into edge mode, select all the top edges. So press 1. Box select all the top. X ray view. Box select the top. There we go. Uh, and then we can grab that in the Z, make it taller. Scale them in a little bit. Or whatever you want to do with it. Um, turn off X ray view so we can see it again. So now we have this. Uh, and then if we want to bring in the nose shape that was there, go into edit mode. Um, press 2 for the edge and um, on the other model I had more so I had a loop cut down here so there was a line that ran all the way down like so uh, and then I could have picked that vertice and dragged it up uh, once it starts to go through that one it will clip uh, and go crazy um, so then you would go into proportional edit connected only grab in the Z and see how it moves the whole thing up to give you your eye shape, you can then scroll uh, just to bring it up like so. So we'll say that's kind of right, and it's a it's a bit of a bodge. Um, so yeah, once we're there, we press nine to go to the back side, and then what I'm going to have to do is because um, this is the central line here, I can go into edit mode and grab this edge, grab it on the Z, bring it down, and then scroll out. But this. It's not centered. What's going on there? One. Ah, so that would be the central point here. So I should have actually took this. This. So to fix that, Control Z until we've done away with this edge loop that I cut into it, uh, and then this eyeball is not correct. So I would just. Alt click and then hit F to fill it back in and then select three and then this face, this face, X face. Does that look better or worse? Let's center ourselves on the actual model. Right, okay, that's too far out. And then if I brought it in. Um I suppose it'll do. Uh, you can always take these and scale them in on the X to bring it in, but then it'll pinch it all up a bit weird. Um, so we'll leave it at that anyway, uh, and then what we can do is go to vertice E mode, click that vertex, and grab it in the Z. And then bring the selection down, so it's only affecting just before the eyes. Or if you wanted to, you could maybe bring it up with the eyes so that it closes them up a little bit. So that's pulled that one up and if we go to the one nine back view this is a central edge 
So we'll take the central edge, grab it on the Z, and then scroll it out until it brings just the the, the corners there. I'm pointing at my screen for no reason. So you'll see as you, you scroll out, it'll affect the next vertex, and then the next, and then the next. And you'll be able to pull it down wherever you want it. So that would be, say, the back strap of the head. And then you could always grab it in the Y just to bring it out a little bit. Um, I'll grab it in the Y and bring it in a little bit. So then it's kind of holding onto the head if you've got an actual head shape. Otherwise, um, that's pretty much pretty much that. And then you would give it a material of your own material. Right click, shade mode, smooth, go here, auto smooth, and that'll take care of any weird artifacts that are going on. And that should be that. Um, and then say if you did have a face or a head, you could uh, take these then in the vertex mode and just snap these to the face using um, the snapping tool to the face itself and then just grab um, and it will, it will snap down onto the head so that you can then maybe move the nose around a little bit or anything um, but that, that's a simple version of this um, this was just done with 32 instead of 18, 19, whatever I did um, so then you could uh, I, I literally for the, the front of the face there I'd selected three faces three faces and then a full ring round the back leaving just the midsection here um, and the same principle just just move things around until they they fit um, yeah that's pretty much it uh, that shade smooth there we go just noticed then it were um, with the, the cubes there, straight smooth, looks pretty good. And as I say, um, that's that, and what, what I'll do is actually, um, let's see if we can actually do it this way. I just, uh, uh, blah, 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 blah. let's go for an anime male. Uh, we'll go with that one. Create the character. So I'd grab this in the Z, press 1, until we have the origin around the eyes, or roughly where I want it. Bring it down until we're kind of fitting, almost. Then grab it in the Y. Have I got snapping on at the minute? I have, yeah. Grab Y. 7 for top. Uh, grab Y. Kind of, that should be about central there. Yep. Press 1. Grab it in the Z. Line up the eyes. Scale it in a little bit more. In fact, it, it, yeah, we'll do that. Scale it in. On the Y, would that be? No, the X. Just to kind of line up with the eyes there and not have any clipping on the head. I mean, it's going to make it a little bit of a weird shape. Uh, and then we can rotate it on the X. No, in fact, we won't rotate on the X. What we'll do is we'll start moving some vertices around. So we'll go here, hold control, go into ed edge mode, click that, click that. So control, click one, and then it'll draw a line all the way to the one that you clicked on the shortest path. So if I clicked here, it'd go along and up. If I clicked here and then clicked down here, it would work its way down using the shortest path. If I clicked here, then shortly along, and then to here, it'll just go all the way around. So one, nine, grab Z. I've still got proportional on. Grab Z. I want that to be roughly there. Then one, and not two. This edge will turn on proportional. Is that the central central edge? Yep. So I've got three. 
grab Y, scroll right in, if that seems on a side view I'll just grab. And then rotate that slightly, and then grab again to about there, rotate slightly again. Same for this edge, we'll grab there, grab it, scroll in until we're not affecting that top one anymore. In fact, hey, I've still got connected only. Uh, how would I do that then? I don't want to affect the top ones. Uh, yeah, what I can do is hit three, select all these top ones, hide them, I think that would do it. No, no, it's still affecting it, right? So this is this part's going to have to be done manually. Um, so we turn off proportional editing, click the edge, three, two, uh, turn on face select snap, uh, and then that should do. Grab, and we want it to hook around the ears, I suppose. So actually, to be fair, I probably want to delete this face as well. There we go. Yeah. So remove this face, and then we go into vertex mode. Click this vertex here, uh, and since this is it's oh, it's not symmetrical, is it? No. So we won't be able to do that. So I just do it manually anyway. Um, so we'll grab this, snapping it to the base mesh, and just move these vertex around a little bit till it kind of fits uh, this one. Like so. And then just click grab. Click, grab. Okay, maybe I need to control A scale first. Yeah, that's probably actually due to this top section. Obviously, it would probably be uh, a bit more along the head like that. Yeah, that's more like it. So scale that in, and then what we'll do is we'll control R to add an edge group, and then just grab here, grab here, grab here, grab. That's not working as I was hoping. Um, so it's just throwing itself through the mesh. Which is probably going to need another edge loop up here. Nope, it's just making it worse. So I'll scale that in a little bit anyway. And I'll just control R around here and then scale this out a little bit until it's no longer clipping. Um, and here, just grab this and bring it down a little bit so that it's sitting a little bit better. Around the ears, it's not too much of a problem I suppose. Could always put it like there, and then the same for this one. Just bring it up there, and select these two. Grab them in the Z. No, grab them. Just bring them under the ear. If you're really that fussed, uh, in fact, I grabbed the full face. Just pressing control to undo the um, edge select. Uh, 
Uh, not the edge select, the um, snapping. Right, so in fact, um, click that. One, nine. Grab these two, grab Z. Scroll it out until I'm selected most of them. Get it kind of where I want it. I don't want that to turn that back off. So I'm going to grab that down. And select all the way around and then just scale it in. So start getting a bit clipping on the cheek there. And then grab this one just to here and then scale this in. And this is because of the subdivision surface modifier. Um, this is making a mess of it. Mm. Kind of bring it into there and then just grab this one. Snap it to there, grab this face. Kind of do it, I suppose. Let's go into a bit of a better view where we can see it. So that's kind of doing what I want it to do. So I just need to sort this side out now. So I've tucked it in behind the ear. So one, grab this. Till we're kind of roughly where we want it. And then GG to bring it up. Is that going to look right? No. I see, because this is gone. In. So what I can do is take this, change it to vertex, and then this vertex is on the ear, so that would be the same vertex as this one. So I just grab in Z, and then hover over this vertex here, and it will snap to that one. So it's similar area. Um, Then that one I pulled up towards the ear here to give it that shape. Head back here, no, that's okay. Just clipping a little bit of the ear lobe off, but uh, that can be solved by taking this vertex here and just bringing it forwards a little bit. And then taking the, this one and bringing it down a little. It's, I mean, it's a bit off the mesh, but yeah. oh, what's going on here? That's not right. Which vertex went missing? Ah, it's that one. That's a bit better. Yeah, there we go. Right, so then we've got that. Uh, and then all we'd need to do is scale this down a little bit the Y to bring it in that's not that just ruins it 
take the eye sockets, grab them on the white, and they're going to break. Actually, no. What you can do is, once you've got it kind of basically where you want it, which is which is there, I think this will work. Uh, shrink that. Select the face. Now it turns into a skull cap. Uh, outside, I think uh, tangent normal project on surface. Or is it project? Right, yeah, so once you've done that, you would then just say, I want these vertex. So selecting this, just the lower half. Green, vertex group, assign. Then in the modifier, into the vertex group. There we go. <coughs> and I missed those two. Assign them as well. And then we'll just go there, and as you see, it's on outside surface, above surface, um, project, now that ruins it, turns into a weird hat, nearest vertex point, then starts to mess up the mesh, tangent normal protect, project, and we'll just give it a slight offset, shift hold, until we get so instead of the Z fight in there, we're just outside of the Z fight range. And then all we do is go into edit mode and grab this in the Z just to bring it up so that it's not clipping with the ear there. Uh, grab this one so it's uh, slightly over here. Grab this one so it's slightly over there. Would it be? Trying to figure a way, grab, grab, so that it's not doing that. There we go. So we just stretch it across like that, and then everything else looks okay around the back here. Same for this here. So we'll just press GG to slide it along its edges. Hold down Control so we've got it's not snapping, and then GG this one until it's up here. GG this one a little bit. GG this one down. Or even just grab and move it around a little bit until we get the shape. Mm, grab in the Z. Oh, sorry, in the control so that when we um, can just move it where we want. Um, or GG to slide it up itself until it no longer clips, but that makes that weird. So I will just grab and let it snap to the face. So it's about there. Um, and then the same here, so we'll just GG this up slightly, I think. No. Let's just grab. I suppose it doesn't help having the eyebrows. And uh, probably wants an edge loop around there. So we can define the shape a little bit better. Right click, shade smooth, auto normals on. Um, and I think what I also want to do is smooth corrective. No. I mean, what I could do is put more subdivisions on it. And then just go into edit mode and take these and just put an edge loop in there. Nope. 
So instead I'll press K, click over here, press C is it to clamp? No, C to cut through and then A to clamp the angle to 90 degrees. Click it, hit enter and then just make sure that, that is removed and then scale it in until we lose the um, So we lose that sharp edge. Oh no, that's ruined it. Absolutely ruined it. Um, so what you would do then, I suppose, is grab that. Alt click, and it's going to grab the whole top end. Uh, so I will click here instead, control click here, just to go around, click here to go around again, click here to go around again. Can I scale this out? Yep. Is that making a mess of it? Yes. How about if I just remove that from the vertex group? Yeah, that looks much better. Um, yeah, I think I just scale it in a little bit. So I wish everything else is um, projecting. It kind of gives you a weird forehead. I didn't mean to do that. I meant to drop it down a little bit more on that. Nope, okay. Leave it at that. Uh, it's clipping now. What changed? Hmm. Yeah, I just press grab X to pull it out to the um, to the head. Uh, I mean, obviously your base mesh looks absolutely trash, but because it's got the uh, shrink wrap on, if you click that, then it'll actually show you the um, final shape. So that's a bit because of the bulge there. It's a bit worrying. Um, and I, because it's uneven, see, I can't just cut it in half. There we go. Uh, so we'll then make this say uh, red, and then assign another material, and we will make that. Black. Uh, go into edit mode. Select this ring of edges, which is a bit messed up actually. I don't want all the way up there. Grab Z. In fact, just grab. Same here, it's a bit of a mess. Oh wow, that's even more of a mess. Them eyebrows. Okay, that's not helping. There, 
that's really annoying. I was doing it that way, I suppose. Just drop some. No, nope, because that makes it even more of a mess there. Get it kind of close. In fact, I could always even add more geometry just by putting an edge loop in there. Edge loop in there. Oh, A. Subdivide. Just to give myself something more to work with. Grab that. Move them around a little bit till it fits, or just not use something with goddamn eyebrows. And these, yeah, we'll do that actually. Let's go edit mode on that. Hide the mask, edit mode. Alpha linked, alpha linked, delete. <coughs> yeah, excuse me, faces. Right, yep, so that's deleted the eyebrows off. That should make it easier. Yes, much better. So, as I say, I was going into edit mode. Click on this. Uh, Alt click and shift click this edge. If I remember rightly, I should be able to assign that red. Control I. Assign that black. Material view. Now we have the face patch as red. Everything else is black. Uh, it's a bit sharp up here. And to be brutally honest, I did only want this. So I would probably uh, shift alt click to select both. And then just assign it black again. Hit, I'll hit Control plus. Assign it black. Click the red one. Control minus to bring it back down again. Control minus again. Ah, oh, right, I see. Something's uneven somewhere. So select both. Hit E. Right click so it doesn't do anything apart from extrude on the exact same point. And then just... Uh, Individual origins, I think. Scale. So it makes new faces. Just scale it in just a little bit. Oh, proportional editing on now. Alright, okay, it didn't do anything, so E, right click, scale. And we'll take these off the shrink wrap. Oh, nasty. So that's not what I want to do. Hang about, what's going on here? I don't know what I did there between that and that. But that's what I wanted to aim for. So then I can go three. Select around this part here. Select around this part here. And then assign those the red material. They have little red eyes. This is a mess. I just literally click on it, click and grab so it pulls it to the, the head. Grab. 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 And it just means it's starting off in a better place. And it looks much better. Got a little bit of definition there. Same here, we'll just grab this. 
bring it down, grab this, bring it down, grab this, bring it to here, grab this one, bring it to there, just so that we're not getting too much in the way of clipping. Cool. I got render view. I'm going to bring down the sky texture because that guy is pale as oak. 0.1. So now we have that nice red bar around it. And we can change that to blue, green, pink, purple, yellow, whatever colour you wish. Um, yeah, then you could always put hair in, do whatever you want. Cool, yeah, so that went a bit longer than uh, I expected. What has it been? 41 minutes. Okay, I'm going to chop this up and see how it goes.